I'm Jake Saganero with Art Info. I'm here at the Grand Palais for the 42nd edition of FIAC in Paris. It's already packed on day one, so let's go and check out what some of the galleries have on offer. Behind me is a uh, Carol Bove piece. Um, Carol's touring exhibition with Carlo Scarpa has just moved to the Museum Don Darance outside Ghent. Um, well worth a visit, uh, and I think that's on for another few months. Um, so we bought one of her peacock feather pieces, which is behind me here. This is a sculptural work. It's uh, um, the material is peacock feather and linen, and her work. A starting point for a lot of the pieces is uh, sort of minimalism in some ways and abstraction. And the piece has an abstract form using the repeated pattern of the peacock feather, but then by the nature of the material itself, extends into something slightly more poetic and kind of spiritual than that. And her work transcends the sort of divide between these things and defies category in some sense, but has a similar sensibility with material and with language about material. by Damien Hurst and I'm particularly excited about it as it's from a series he started making two years ago which is a series of cityscapes and as you look closely you can see that they're actually aerial views taken mainly from satellite images of significant cities around the world. The one behind me is Washington and you can see the Capitol building and the walk down the mall. Um, and the beauty of it, it's made mainly from scalpel blades, if you can see the various details. Damien's always been about the preservation of life and death, um, and by using something, a surgical instrument like a scalpel blade, he's referencing that. Um, here, what's interesting is he's taken something that doesn't change, it's a city, um, a map or a grid, and it's interesting that he's then applying the scalpel bay play to something that is quite timeless. I mean, the fiac really gets better and better every year in a way that the quality of the collectors is so high compared to other fairs. There are almost no speculators, um, very um, passionate people, people that really love art, they like to collect art. As you can see, a nail doesn't waste any space in that way. All of these pieces, they have a sort of a, a functional um, aspect. So the plugs that you see there, they can be used. There's also a light, a neon light. Of course, it's a conceptual approach to the issue of being functional, you know, when it comes to art. You want to do something that is, sure, a piece of art, but also functional, why not? I think Freeze felt more kind of uh, like a feeding frenzy, you know, the first day was very busy and everyone wanted to buy things and I think here it's very busy also but it seems like just a little bit slower, people making decisions in a different way maybe. 